members and colleagues uh, from PAS uh, uh, thought of this initiative to launch a fellowship program, this time specifically about uh, uh, APAMS. So we call it the APAMS 2021 uh, Graduate Student Fellowship. But as uh, uh, my colleagues uh, and fellow PASI members will talk about today, this may be a, uh, a long-term you know, <laughs> initiative, which will uh, be uh, beneficial for uh, everyone. So uh, without uh, further ado, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, my colleagues here from uh, PAASE. We have President uh, Gisela Concepcion, our uh, 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 president who's uh, a professor emerita at the Marine Science uh, Institute. She's an uh, uh, academician at uh, NAST. And as you will learn uh, when uh, she speaks, uh, she speaks uh, uh, a bit uh, later, uh, she uh, uh, holds uh, many other hats and uh, this is just uh, one of them. Uh, we also have uh, Dr. Uh, Maria Marjoret Marge Pena from the uh, University of South uh, Carolina in Columbia. She's a professor of uh, biology at her university and she's currently chairing the PAASE Board of Directors. We also have Dr. Leia Tolosa Croucher. Dr. Uh, Croucher is currently a, uh, a program <laughs> officer uh, of the <laughs> Office of Special <laughs> Office of Initial Initiatives of the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences at the National Institutes of Health, NIH. And uh, last but not the least, we have uh, Dr. Alvin Kulava, who's a distinguished university professor uh, at uh, the De La Salle University, Manila, and is also an academician of NAST. Uh, this is our uh, set of speakers, but we also have with us uh, here in this uh, forum uh, a number of PASE colleagues, which we will be introducing uh, later. So uh, again, without uh, uh, further ado, I'd like to uh, call uh, in uh, Dr. Gisela Concepcion, who will be giving us uh, the, the welcome remarks. Giselle. Thanks, Mario. Uh, Giselle here. I'd like to uh, welcome all our fellow men and fellow women uh, to um, PASE and APAMS. And let me just say that I'm really quite used to um, dealing with young people and it really makes me humble. In the lab, uh, when I uh, engage with my uh, students and RAs, I learn a lot. And that's my attitude. I think that um, the more young people you talk with um, every day, whether it's at home or uh, in um, your place of work, then it keeps you young and open-minded and uh, very humble indeed. So in PASE, uh, we are morphing and uh, we're uh, becoming an organization that is very community-centered. And you'll hear it from some of our uh, stalwarts in PASE later. So um, I'll be giving a talk or several talks in PASE, but uh, in the meantime, I just like to, um, well, uh, take pride in introducing to you our website. Once again, uh, I'm sure some of you have seen it, but I'd like to acknowledge the um, indefatigable and creative contributions of our website manager. This is Richmond Pancho. Okay, he's a techie, but he's a creative guy. And we wanted um, this feeling of, um, of um, well, uh, you might say relaxation <clears throat> uh, when we viewed our website to emphasize that science is our way of life. Okay, and we visit this website. You can scroll down now, Rip Richmond. And this was my dream website when I was, um, you know, in uh, UP Kazan Hall. And I wanted like, equal time and opportunity for the important components, say, of an organization. So here we have it finally. And uh, so if you click each of these boxes, you'll get into a lot of information. So they're nested. Click and click down and there's just so much information. Probably Marge will share some of this information later. But let me just say, so I'll cut my um, 
talk short that I do have a column or a message every 15 days in the president's corner. So if you want to read my thoughts or know what you know, I'm thinking about, then you can just read these um, little messages, which are laymanish in, um, you know, in uh, the way it's written. But then again, um, you are our fellows in APAMS and we dream for you to become our fellows in PASE. And we can talk about that a bit later. Maybe Alvin and Mario can, can um, you know, support us in this and our chair, our beloved chair, Marge. Uh, because this is something that I have been wanting for PASE for the longest time. One of my RAs wanted to be a PASE fellow, but now he's gone, okay? Why? Because uh, science is a way of life. It's a culture and you have to learn it. You have to learn how to do uh, the science well in the lab, uh, reading and uh, you know uh, conceptualizing, but you also have to know how to engage with fellow scientists and to organize events like 41st APAMS, which is fantastic. I can see it, Mario and Leah, fantastic. It's gonna be a memorable experience. So I'd like to end there and I'd like to congratulate our fellows uh, for making it and for joining us tonight. Thank you. I'm done, Mario. Thank you very much, uh, President uh, Giselle Concepcion. Uh, that was really very uh, inspiring and uh, hopefully we'll uh, see through, you know, a lot of things uh, that we are going to hear uh, today for a very long time. And now may I call on our uh, chairman of the board of PAASE, uh, Dr. Uh, Marge Pena, to talk about PAASE. What is PAASE? Marge, take it away. Okay, um, I should share my screen. Hopefully this is going to work. So can you see the screen? Yes. You can. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So, okay, wait, let me go to the top of this. Okay. Okay. So can you see that now? Mario, is it working? Because <laughs> last it time working. it didn't work. It's it working. working. Okay, great. This is great. Uh, last time I tried to share a screen, it didn't work. But anyway, uh, good morning, good evening, everyone who are in the Philippines, uh, and good morning here. And so uh, it's really great to see the fellows. And so I was looking at all your faces on the poster, and I, that's why I thought it was a beautiful poster because it's the young people that we know are going to be the future, not just of Paase, but the Philippines, and you will be the more of tomorrow sorry, sorry to in, inter uh, interfere uh yes. could you change to um uh presentation mode oh okay so let me move the the presentation mo mode is in my other screen it's at the bottom you can also do the bottom yeah i know but uh the the thing is that my presentation screen is going to my other screen. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. Because I'm seeing yeah. animations and you may not see them. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Technical difficulty. No. So when it shares, it goes to the other screen that I have. And that's why uh, you're seeing this other. Hmm. Your screen sharing. Maybe so I shut off my... If you click at the bottom, couldn't you do that at the bottom, the icon at the bottom? Yeah. So what I'm telling you is I have two screens in front of me, so it's going to my right screen. <laughs> <laughs> that was right. just, I have too many, too much technology. Uh, what I can do is just use one screen. I'll disable my other screen. It's fine. Actually, we can read it. It's, it's okay. It's just that your animations will not show up. That I think oh, okay. it will be fine. It'll be okay. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll just, uh, I'll, we can just walk through that. Okay. Um, anyway, so I'm really happy to see, um, I'm trying to see if I can move it to the other screen. Can you see it now? No. It's done. It's done. Oh, it disappeared. Okay. Share screen. <laughs> Okay, can you see it again? Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's so we'll just use this one then. 
Oh, okay. It just says you can see my application. I'm sorry for that. I should have disabled my other screen. But anyway, we can proceed with this one. So anyway, uh, as I said, uh, I'm, I was really happy to see all the young faces. It reminded me of the times that you, Leah, and I were at UST many, many years ago when we were young and just starting out. And so uh, you get to grow up like where we are right now. <laughs> okay, but uh, so what is PASA? This is my task for today. My name is Marge Pena, and I'm an um, associate professor at the University of South Carolina Biological Sciences Department. And so um, what I'm going to talk to you about is what is PAASE. It's basically the Philippine American Academy of Science and Engineering. Uh, it's a nonprofit organization that is composed of scientists and engineers of Philippine descent who have distinguished themselves in scholarly and research related activities. And so it was founded and incorporated in the United States uh, in Indiana on April 23, 1980. So now this is our 41st APAMS actually. And it was reincorporated in Maryland uh, just this year, 2021. That's all thanks to the work of Mario and the rest of our officers. And so what are the goals of PASI? Uh, basically, our goal is to promote uh, advancement of science, engineering, and technology. And we encourage, as you will see, a lot of collaborative work among scientists and engineers of Philippine descent in research and development through scholarly and scientific endeavors. And so one of the things that you'll find when you work well, when you become a member of the policy is there's a lot of collaboration going on and the distance between Philippines, US or whatever part of the world you are doesn't really matter. People collaborate with each other. Uh, and then the other goal is to support efforts that advance science and technology and then recognize and honor the achievements of scientists and engineers that are of Philippine descent. So PASE uh, was organized by, put together by Dr. Severino Co, Co. he's our founder. So uh, you will see that we have uh, uh, awards for the Severino Co uh, lectureship that's go, uh, that uh, is awarded each year, one for engineering and one for science. So together with 20 other founding members, they uh, founded the PASE in 1980 at Purdue University. And the first conference was at Sulo Hotel from January 6 to 8 in 1981, back then. So, uh, so that's the history. And then uh, this is some trivia that Mario uh, included in here. Uh, he's very good at the history, uh, 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 telling everyone the history of PASE. And so one of the things is that one of the founding members, Dr. Uh, Leon Chua, is actually yes, the father of Amy Chua, who wrote this battle hymn of the tiger mother. And so that's one of the really uh, interesting and famous books that I think a lot of mothers uh, should read and maybe agree or disagree with, <laughs> but it's me, uh, Mars. We don't see we don't see that the slides. Uh, the the we still see what is past. So sorry. Oh, you don't. You need to change the slides. Yeah. I am changing it from my side. Uh okay. That's... Okay. You may continue. Can you see? Can you see this now? I'm on the past history. No, not yet. There. Okay, how about that? There. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, so we'll get through this. Okay, so that's the past of history. And so this is some trivia that uh, Mario shared with me and I'm gonna share with you where one of our founding members, Dr. Leon Chua was actually the father of Amy Chua who wrote this very, um, famous and controversial book about the battle hymn of the tiger mom. Uh, and so uh, the, what does the policy offer? Uh, so we offer a lot of things. First, we have the knowledge and skills development. So uh, we regularly have webinars. Uh, almost every week we have webinars. We have fireside chats that um, discuss a lot of the relevant issues in the Philippines and around the world, particularly these days now that we have COVID. And then we have conferences. So every year we have the APAMS, uh, which happens either in the Philippines or in the US. And last year, uh, well, I'm happy to report that COVID did not stop us. We did it virtually. It was actually one of the most interesting ones. It lasted a whole month. <laughs> when we started out with a whole month, we thought this is never gonna happen, but it ended up being a very exciting meeting because 
um, all you really had to do was go to your room and you can transport yourself to all parts of the world and hear about the exciting research that we uh, uh, scientists of Filipino descent are doing around the world. So that was one of the exciting APAMs that, uh, that I had ever attended. Uh, we have networks and relationships. And so later on, I'm gonna talk about the research expertise cluster memberships. Uh, this is how we divide PASI and make us more mobile and move on, uh, uh, act on a lot of our projects more efficiently. We have interdisciplinary research projects, uh, policy advocacies, and a lot of mentoring that can go on with policy. Um, we have um, training publication, material resources. Uh, we have workshops and write shops. And just recently, uh, we actually, uh, which is this year, we're just starting to uh, uh, our first issues of it. What used to be the Philippine Science Letters is now the sci and Journal, and that is now the official journal of policy. Uh, thanks to Giselle and everybody's efforts, particularly Pancho, uh, uh, who are making this um, happen. Uh, there are postdoctoral opportunities to work in labs of uh, Paase uh, scientists here and around the world. And small funding opportunities, I'm going to talk about that later on, about what we can offer to support. Um, not, you know, we have limited amounts of money, but we can certainly support with some money that can make uh, a meaningful contribution to some of the things uh, that you would like to do and that we, we would like to support. So there's curricular material development, there's position paper development, we can support uh, uh, attendance for conferences and participation and sponsorship for uh, conferences. Um, uh, some amount of money is allotted to this. Uh, we have the human capital members, uh, as you can see, uh, one of our requirements is that the members actually are nominated and vetted and they are shown to have done so much uh, contribution to science and engineering in the Philippines. And so what that means is that as you move forward in your, car uh, in your career, you can actually count on the membership, uh, membership's experience and skills to help you move along. And uh, what I can say is that uh, for everyone that I have met since I became a member of PASA, everyone is always willing to help you in any way that they can and however you, they can do it. Uh, we have social capital, of course. Uh, once you join PASA, you can join the members networks and establish long lasting relationships. For me, in fact, uh, joining PASA, uh, Leia and I worked together at UST back in the 1980s when we first graduated uh, from UST as chemists. And then when I moved to the US, we lost touch for what, almost 20 years. And then all of a sudden I became a PAS member. It's and as if those 20 years never happened and just reconnect and then go on and build new things together at the different positions that we're in right now. So it's really exciting. We have the material capital, which is uh, members material goods or fixed assets, which can contribute to scientific production process. Um, you can, uh, there are projects aptly or there are programs where you can aptly work in labs of other members to gain expertise in some of the things that we have, some of the techniques and research uh, projects that we have to offer. Um, so there's that opportunity. And also um, one, uh, one, a good example is actually Anne Villa Lobos as she retired from Johnson & Johnson and so was able to take some of the materials from, uh, from this company that are not being used, take it back to the Philippines and use it to start science projects uh, in Mindanao, actually in Bukidnon, which is my province. So a lot of things can happen with PASE. Uh, and so um, these are, uh, our offices. This is the structure of PASE. So we have officers. Uh, you have met Dr. Giselle Concepcion. She is a very, a very energetic president. And then uh, we have my, Dr. Mario Santo Domingo, who is our, uh, our, our uh, coordinator today. And he is our vice president slash president elect, meaning when Giselle uh, finishes her term as president, he will be our next president. And then our secretary is Lulu Harold. Lulu, uh, Lulu has been our secretary since 2015. And Dr. Lisa Virata is our treasurer. And I think she started last year officially as our treasurer. So the way that it works is that um, we have our president and la uh, used to be our president uh, uh, serves a term for one year, but last year we changed that, the BOD and voted by the members, we changed that to a term of two years. And that's very good for the continuity of a lot of the policy projects and initiatives. 
And then we elect a vice president who also serves for two years, but then, as I said, he takes over as the president after two years, he's the president elect. And at that time, we elect a new vice president who serves as a two, uh, vice president for two years and then becomes the next president. So this bodes well for the continuity of a lot of the projects. Uh, you're not just thrown into being a president, learn it, and then by the time you learn it, you're out. And then somebody comes to learn again. So, so it's a very good succession uh, and a way that we can uh, continue with our policy initiatives. Uh, in addition to the officers, we have the board of directors. So every year, uh, these are the current board of directors. Uh, there's me, uh, um, and then there's Dr. Uh, Rigoberto Vincola, who is at um, Tennessee. And, and then there's Dr. Joel Coelho, who is in Arizona. And then you met Dr. Alden Kalaba from De La Salle. Then we have Dr. Siti David from UP Diliman, Dr. Felino Lensigan from UPLB, Dr. Lisa Garata, who is at the USDA. And then we have Dr. Isadora Yu, who is at the Marine Sciences in UP Diliman, who is also currently the chair of our membership committee. So every year we elect three members to the board. These members serve for three years. So as three members go off, three members come on. And so, uh, for example, I am serving actually the last year of my two terms on the board. So we'll uh, be rotating off the board this year and then another three will be elected. So also uh, the election will take place in December before the year is over and we will have a new president and new three members of the board. So the board of directors from among themselves at the start of the year elects someone who becomes the chairperson. So I became the chairperson uh, by election of the board members this year. So uh, it's a very active board. And so uh, during our meetings, uh, we have very lively discussions of the things that are going on in PASE. And then, you know, sometimes some to make sure that what decisions we have, the discussions and initiatives that are uh, uh, decided on by the board are known by the members, we initiated a bi-monthly newsletter. And so Mario has been uh, doing this. Mario and Lulu have been uh, publishing this bi-monthly newsletter. Uh, and so I think we are on our second one now and we're a uh, third one is supposed to come out really soon. Okay, so pause the members. They are 491 strong. It's a lot of us. 398 full members. You have to be nominated. The membership committee vets this. We recommend memberships to the board. And then the whole membership will elect and uh, decide uh, on you uh, to uh, whether you become a member or not. So we have full members and then we have 89 associate members. Uh, if you think that's low, it's because uh, sometimes you start as an associate member and then eventually uh, you are nominated to become a full member. And then we have four honorary members. And so why do I have this picture with all these people in here? Because to be, traditionally, Paase was this whole organization. If you wanted to coordinate with anybody else, you have to go to look through this whole crowd in here and figure out where they are. Let's say I want to find a collaborator. I got to go through the whole membership list and figure out what is their specialty, where are they, and so on and so forth. Uh, which was exciting because you get to meet a lot of people, but not very efficient with respect to getting the projects accomplished. So what did we do? Uh, starting last year, 2020, uh, the RECs were born. So these are the PAASIS research expertise clusters. And what we did was we grouped people into their expertise so that they can easily uh, communicate with people with similar interests and initiate projects, or if you initiate projects, you can find people that are interested in the same areas as you are and begin some collaborations. So it's kind of like having a, a whole university and then we have departments within it. So we have 14 recs that are uh, listed in here. And basically we are in, in uh, it's di divided into the biological sciences, the engineering sciences, the physical sciences, mathematical areas, sociocultural. Uh, what's really important is we, added Rec 13 uh, and 14, which are social culture, economics, and political science, as well as education, media, and museology, arts, culture, uh, indigenous knowledge, um, and not 
it's not one of the hard sciences, but we know that we cannot exist if you do not, we scientists cannot stay in our own area out there somewhere. We need to communicate with the rest of the world. And whatever we do impacts sociocultural issues, it impacts economics, political sciences, everything. And so we included uh, this particular Rex, and exactly one of the more active Rex. It's small, but very active. And so when you join POSSE, well, at the beginning, what we did was we imposed the Rex on people. My husband Edsel developed an algorithm and assigned everyone to erect based on their degree, their department, whatever thing that was associated with your name, we did that. And then in the end, we realized that we were putting Rex, uh, people in Rex that they don't belong. So we went back and edited that. And so now the, you have a Rex. So one of the things about having a Rex is that we could, we, ha we stand, we have the danger of um, breaking up the the Paase into smaller groups and then they all operate by themselves. But that actually didn't happen because people wanted to be in more than one Rex. So nowadays, research is very collaborative. So we have people that are in two or three Rex. And so instead of having just top down circles that are going around not interacting with each other, they all, you can, you can imagine arrows going back and forth between these Rex uh, because people are collaborative and whatever they're working in, for example, math mathematical sciences or statistical data, biology cannot exist without that, without these expertise nowadays. So it's a very good way of uh, finding collaborators. And so on our website, if you go to the membership uh, membership uh, uh, square and click on that, you will find a list of the membership of the RECs. Okay. And also, since we already have the Rex, if you're being nominated now, you get to choose right away which Rex you are in. And so we just assign you to that. Uh, on the nomination forum, it's up to three, but you really, you can be a member of every Rex if you want to be, or if you have time to do that. So the Rex present their own seminars, they have sessions and the APAMS meetings. Uh, they're also putting together special issues for the science journal. And so by dividing our organization into smaller groups, we are able to do this much faster and more efficiently. So I think it's a good thing moving forward with PASA. Uh, PASA projects. So I talked to you about this before. Uh, there are six different categories in here. We have graduate education assistance. So for example, if you want to take the GRE, uh, PASA can provide up to $500 to help you take the GRE if you're applying for a PhD program. And I can go through all of this, but these are all on our website. So I'm just going to mention them. Graduate education assistance, this education materials, paper presentation, collaborative projects, technology transfer, and research training. So all these details are on the website. So I will let you go in there and explore it for yourself, OK? Um, and so uh, that's it. Uh, I think that's all we have the, the, that's on the slides. And I'm back now. This is a picture for one. I think this picture was taken at the um, orientation meeting or maybe the town hall meeting. Mario, help me. <laughs> is that where this picture yes. came from? Okay, yes, it was on one of those uh, town hall meetings. Yes. Yeah. And so we've also done it so that when we elect new members, we have town hall meetings where we can discuss whatever I'm discussing with you and people have the opportunity to learn how policy runs and how we work and how we coordinate with each other. And like I said, distance doesn't matter, particularly now that we're all experts in Zoom. Uh, we can talk anytime, meet anytime. And so I'd like to say welcome to all of you and hope to see all of you in a lot of boss activities. All right, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Chair uh, Marge. Uh, that was quite an extensive illustration of what PAAS is, and we hope that uh, it will be part of uh, everyone's uh, aspiration here to be part of uh, PAAS sometime in the future. I would like to mention here uh, that uh, we had some discussion in PAAS that uh, uh, those who may have uh, relationships with uh, Filipino researchers, those who have stayed in the Philippines for to do research for a while can also be part of PAASE. That's my understanding, and but we can discuss it uh, later if you have any questions about that uh, 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 requirement to be of Filipino descent. Now, I'd like to call on uh, former uh, chair of the board of PAASE, former president of PAASE, Dr. Lea Tolosa Croucher, to talk about what APAMS is. Lea, take it away. I will share the slides. 
for uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Croucher. I'm not, not, yet. We're, not see, uh, we're not seeing it, Mario. I cannot see it anyway. Okay, I'll, I'll share it here. Do you see it? No. Does anyone there. see it? Yeah, yeah, we're seeing it now. I can see it. Okay, um, good morning and good evening, <laughs> everyone, wherever you are. Um, Welcome fellows to PASE. Today I am tasked to uh, tell you about APAMS, which is actually short for the annual PASE meeting and symposium. Um, as you can see, it's actually an acronym within an acronym. Uh, you know, we scientists and engineers, we just love acronyms. It's like our secret handshakes. Uh, so, by the way, I am um, Leia Tolosa Croucher. I got my uh, bachelor and master's degree in um, uh, chemistry from USD, as uh, Dr. Marge has told you before. Uh, she, we, she and I go back a long way. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then my PhD it was from uh, University of Connecticut in stores. And as Mar Mario said, I was a former president and I was uh, a chairman of the board for many, many years before I decided other people can also do it. <laughs> okay, so in uh, the next slide, this is actually a picture of uh, our founding members in the first APAMS, which was, uh, sorry to correct you, uh, Marge is actually at the Silahis Hotel in Manila in 1981. And um, I blame Mario. <laughs> <laughs> needless to say, me, the Silahis <laughs> Hotel no longer exists because I suppose in the Philippines, Silahis is a, is a controversial name. Um, the guest of honor at that time was Edward Teller, who is a Nobel laureate and considered as the father of the hydrogen bomb. So uh, from the very beginning, um, there has already been a long history of having Nobel laureates uh, speak at uh, the APAMS. And we've had several through the years. Um, and this year we will have uh, Dr. Koji Nakamura, who is also the father of something, but something that's much more useful and not destructive. In fact, it's constructive, the white LED. So I hope that you can come and attend his talk um, during the APAMS this year. Next slide, please, Mario. So APAMS has been held in many places in the US and the Philippines. And this is only a short list of those places. Of course, University of Maryland, North Carolina State University, uh, Wisconsin, Madison, Georgetown, George Washington, which are both in Washington DC, uh, University of California in Berkeley and Davis, De La Salle, of course, in the Philippines, multiple times at De La Salle University, multiple times at the University of the Philippines. We've come as far north as uh, Don Mariano Marcos State University and as far south as the University of San Carlos in Cebu. Uh, I forgot to add to the list University of Arizona where we went a couple of years ago as well. Um, next slide. So one of the highlights um, during APAMS is, uh, and we have this every year since 2000, uh, we have the Paz and Severino Co. Lectureship Awards in Science and Engineering. Um, the Paz Lectureship Awards is actually the brainchild of our founder, 
Dr. Severino Ko. In two thousand, uh, so basically, Dr. Severino Ko, who is our founding father, is like the George Washington of Paase. He's our, he's the father of Paase. Um, the Paase Lectureship Award again was his brainchild. Uh, he started it in two thousand. Then um, he and his wife, Mrs. Paz Ko, and you heard that right, Mrs. Paz Ko provided the seed money um, for the award. And the purpose of the award is to celebrate the super, super achievers among the super achievers um, from PASE. And since 2000, there have been 34 um, lectureship awardees. And in uh, this year, we're adding another two. So that will be a total of 36. And you may be wondering if there is one award for science and one for engineering, how come we don't have 40 by this time? And the answer is that there were several years when we didn't have any engineering um, awardee because nobody was nominated. And also because there are fewer and fewer engineering members uh, since most engineering PhDs go on to industry rather than academe and they don't publish, especially if you're working for a company, you don't publish, it, uh, which is kind of ironic because Dr. Severino Ko is actually an engineer. Um, but I think we are again seeing an increase in the number of engineering class members, which is why uh, in the last several years, we again are starting to have engineering uh, lectureship awardees. Next slide. So um, for APAMS 2021, we will be holding it uh, in, in a hybrid um, meeting where so, some of us will be in Baltimore, Maryland, face to face. And many of you will be tuning in through the inter, uh, interwebs via Zoom or through um, uh, YouTube. Um, in a way, because we are holding it in Baltimore, this is kind of like a homecoming because Dr. Severino was based in Maryland and uh, it's so it's kind of meaningful that this is our fourth decade and we are holding it again in Maryland. And hopefully you can attend all of the um, uh, sessions and special speeches and uh, plenary lectures um, from October 8 to October 11. And uh, the program is available in the PASE website. Uh, you can also request Dr. Mario Santo Domingo or myself to send you a copy of the program because we are co-chairs of APAMS 2021. Um, so again, I hope to see you all next week at the APAMS 2021. Thank you and welcome again, PASE Fellows. Thank you so much, Dr. Leah Tolosa Croucher. Uh, it's so interesting because you mentioned about engineering. Most of our fellows uh, are right now, actually, about 70 or 75% of them are engineering students. So that's you can very see good. how. Yes, yes, that's right. And so uh, it would be really nice if we'll have more engineering scientists, you know, in the future. And, and uh, hopefully we don't lose members. them when they graduate, because generally we lose them when they graduate because they go to industry and then they cannot publish their whatever research they're doing because it's, uh, you know, it's top secret. <laughs> That's right. So, so thank you again. Thank you again, uh, Leah. Now, yeah. uh, we originally planned to do this earlier uh, in the program, but as we can see, some people were having difficulties uh, logging in. So we'll do this now. We plan to show the photos of the uh, uh, all the uh, APAMS 2021 fellows and would like to request uh, each of you 
to unmute uh, whenever you see your photo uh, on screen and uh, introduce your, your name, the degree you're enrolled in, uh, your university, uh, the year you are uh, uh, currently on your uh, uh, program, and the name of your uh, mentor. You will see all of this except the year level on, on, on your screen. So uh, we'll do it fast. Uh, uh, if uh, you see your uh, photo uh, uh, next to the one speaking, be ready. And then we will be uh, done in uh, a, a few minutes. I will be sharing my screen and uh, you will start uh, seeing your selves. Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, Okay, let me just uh, share my screen. Give me a minute. Oh, wait. Can you see my screen now? Can you see the photos? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So. So we'll start with uh, Mr. Von uh, Calvin Aguilar and we'll go uh, uh, left, right, left, right. Okay. Uh, we'll start. Uh, Hi. Um, good evening, everyone. I'm good morning out there. I am Von Calvin Aguilar. I'm taking up Master of Science in Management Engineering from University of Santo Tomas. I'm in my fourth year. And my research is about systems development for process improvement. And my mentor is Dr. Eugenia Zuo of UST. Hello, everyone. Good day. I am Alan Zetro Alonte from the University of the Philippines, Los Banos. I am taking off Master's of Science in Zoology, minor in Molecular Biology and Biotechnology. I am actually in my first year uh, in the program, and I am a mentee of Dr. Vishal Gaypal here. Thank you, everyone. Hi, everyone. I am Zerine Antoinette Antonio. I am taking up MS Statistics at the University of the Philippines, Diliman, and my mentor is Dr. Iris I.D. Gauran. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. My name is Jem Valdissimo. I am a Fulbright Scholar and PhD candidate at Old Dominion University. My degree that I'm working towards is a PhD in Ecological Sciences. And the project that I'm working on um, is twofold. One is the vulnerability of marine ornamental fishes, so finding Nemo and his friends. And the other part of it is working on the genetic diversity of coral reef fishes in the Philippines. Um, my mentor here at ODU is Dr. Kent Carpenter, who is an American, but our project is in the Philippines. And I am, um, I, I actually was affiliated with a PAASE member before for my master's, who is Dr. Augustine Dornilla from the University of Melbourne. And that's how I found out about PAASE as well. It's nice to meet all of you today. Hello everyone, I'm Jude Martin Bansuela. I'm currently taking up Master of Science in Chemical Engineering in UP Los Baños. I'm currently on my first year in grad school and my mentor is Dr. Veronica Milico. Hi, good day everyone. I am Engineer Brian E. Bautista and I'm currently on my first year uh, in De La Salle University with the program of PhD in Civil Engineering. 
my mentor is uh, Dr. Jason Ongpeng. Mr. Binag? Mr. Brutas? Hello, everyone. Um, good morning and good evening um, to my fellows here in the Philippines. Uh, I'm Prince Charles Brutas, and uh, I'm studying uh, master's MS in chemical engineering here in UPLB. I'm currently in the last year under the supervision of or of my mentor, uh, Dr. Veronica P. Meagle, and uh, uh, I'm currently working on a project on her project uh, regarding phytohormone extraction uh, using agricultural waste products. Thank you. Mr. Cabo. Mr. Karingal. Hello, good evening and good day, everyone. I am Kim Shea Karingal, uh, currently on my first year of graduate studies, taking up MS Chemical Engineering with specialization on pollution engineering at University of the Philippines, Las Panas. And uh, my mentor is Dr. Rex B. Dimakis. Thank you. Mr. Cartel? Uh, yes, but am I audible? Yes, go on. Okay, okay. a pleasant day to everyone. Uh, special greetings to Dr. Gisela Concepcion, Dr. Mario Santo Domingo, doc, and of course to the ever supportive mentor, Dr. Alvin Culaba and Dr. Zinia and Dr. Bernardo. Uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. For, and you know, I really feel glad and honored to belong to this prestigious organization. And being an APAMS graduate student fellow, I believe that I could learn a lot. And uh, by the way, I am a registered chemical engineer and also an environmental planner. I am affiliated with the chemical engineering department of Eastern Visayas State University in Tacloban City, Eastern Visayas, Philippines as a faculty member. I am currently taking Doctor of Philosophy in Chemical Engineering in De La Salle University under the ERDP program. And I'm on... Uh, Currently, I am on second year of my program, and my dissertation study focuses on the molecular dynamics and mathematical modeling of simultaneous mass transfer and transesterification reaction on the NC2 production of fatty acid delta esters at supercritical conditions. And in fact, some of my findings will be shared in this conference at REC 8, October 11, 9.30 a.m. for uh, Philippine Standard Time. And if you guys have time or are interested, Please attend. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I am Katrina J. T. Castillo, and I'm a second year MS chemical engineering student in University of the Philippines, Los Banos. And my mentor is Dr. Monette Concepcion M. Detras. Thank you. Mr. Cruz. Hello everyone, I am Hill Cruz Jr. I'm currently a PhD um, student at De La Salle University under the supervision of Dr. Marla Redelias. And um, I'm also working at Bataan Peninsula State University. I'm working with Dr. John Ryan Dison, who also happened to have a an ongoing um, partnership, I think, with Paase. So good to see you all. Thank you. Hello, a pleasant evening and a pleasant morning to everyone. My name is Yokimiko C. David, and I'm a graduate student at De La Salle University. I am currently on my third year taking Master's of Science in Biology under a BOST scholarship program. And I'd just like to take this opportunity uh, to thank you all for accepting my application, and I'm looking forward to meet and learn from the other a graduate student fellow and from the people behind APAMS and the Philippine American Academy of Science and Engineering. 
And my uh, advisor is Dr. Mark Christian Felipe Redillas. Thank you. Um, hello, good day to all. I am Mary Ann M. Del Barrio, and I'm taking up my master's in chemical engineering, major in pollution engineering in University of the Philippines, Las Banas. I'm currently on my second year under the supervision of Dr. Veronica. Thank you. Ms. Del Mundo? Hello? Can you hear me? Apa. Everyone can hear you now. Everyone. Okay. So once again, good day everyone. I am very thankful for the opportunity to be here with you tonight. So I am Maria Lourdes F. Del Mundo. Uh, currently, uh, I'm already a candidate under the MS Microbiology Minor in Environmental Science Program at the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. And I'm hoping uh, this year would be my last year uh, in pursuing the uh, functional, um, well, functional paper uh, test. Ko. Uh, and then uh, I am under Dr. Nasita Bilantikan, my ever-supportive mentor. Thank you. Mr. De La Rosa? Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello there. Good evening. All right. So I am Mr. Paul Emanuel De La Rosa. I'm a Master of Arts in Education uh, at University of Rizal System. Actually, it's my second year and my mentor is Dr. Maria Teresa Alejandro. Nice meeting everyone. Thank you. Mr. Dimano. Mr. Domingo. Uh, hello. Good evening, Go ahead. everyone. I'm Justin Domingo. I'm in my final year of my PhD at the University of Edinburgh. Uh, my mentor is uh, Dr. Mikhail Atal, and I'm working on the behavior and fate of sediments and potential pollutants in nickel mining areas in the Philippines. Nice to meet you all online. Hello, everyone. I am Zeus S. Ilumba. By the way, good morning and good evening. Uh, I am Zeus S. Ilumba. I am a PhD in microbiology student at the University of the Philippines, Las Banas. My mentor is Dr. Rina Biopalencia. I am currently on my third year in the program, and I will be attending Indiana University Bloomington this coming January 2022, winter semester where I will conduct my dissertation research on the inhibition of quorum sensing in vivo bacteria as a Fulbright scholar. Thank you. Good day. Good day. My name is... Um... Go ahead. Good day. Good day, my name is uh, Junis Pia from the University of Canterbury in Christchurch, New Zealand. I am the second year of a um, PhD in political science program under the supervision of a Filipino-American based here, Professor Alexander Tan. John? Mr. Fabia? Yes. Um, good day, everyone. So I'm Marlo M. Fabia. So I'm currently taking um, MS Chemical Engineering um, in University of the Philippines, Los Baños. 
So I'm in the current supervision of Dr. Myra G. Burinus. So I'm also at the same time employed in um, print design and print and packaging company in the Philippines. Thank you. Go ahead. Oh, good day, everyone. I'm Ray Angelo G. Frias. I just finished my Master's of Science in Civil Engineering at De La Salle University. And my topic is about low-impact development and under the supervision of Dr. Marla Maniquis Redivias. That's all. Thank you. Okay, so good, good day and good evening, everyone. I am Sergi Garbanzas, and I'm also taking up Master of Science in Civil Engineering in De La Salle University, Manila. So I am currently in my second year, and my research interest is also about low impact development. And my mentor is also Dr. Marla Menikis Rodillas. Uh, thank you, everyone, and I hope you have a good day. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Marvin J. Jiginugin. I am currently enrolled in MS Environmental Engineering and Management in De La Salle University under Dr. Alvin B. Colaba. Thank you. Hi, I'm Zanid C. Gomez. I'm in my second year MS Chemical Engineering at the University of the Philippines, Los Banos. My mentor is Dr. Veronica Pimito. Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. I am Earl Gerald Alvigorio, currently enrolled in the MS Civil Engineering, specializing in structural engineering program at De La Salle University in Manila. And my mentor is Dr. Andres Winston Sierra. Thank you, and nice to meet you all. Ms. Hernandez? Mr. Herrera. Good day, everyone. I am Xander Carl Herrera, currently in my second year of master's uh, in MS Chemical Engineering. Uh, my mentor is Dr. Monet Concepcion Detras. He's the department chair of UP Los Banos Chemical Engineering Department. Mr. Epora. Mr. Lagman. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Michael Kevin Lagman. Uh, I'm currently taking up Master of Science in Management Engineering at the University of Santo Tomas. I'm currently in my fourth year, and my thesis focuses on the deployment of clinical decision support system prototype. And my mentor is Dr. Eugene Zhuo. I'm pleased to meet everyone. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So good evening, everyone, and good morning to uh, those in other regions. So my name is Jeremy Magdaong. I'm a PhD student at De La Salle University. So I'm working towards a degree in uh, mechanical engineering. So I'm currently in my second year, and my mentor is Dr. Alvin B. Colaba. And my research interest is in local energy markets, peer-to-peer uh, -peer energy trading, and distributed uh, energy resources. That's all. Thank you. Ms. Magdoto? Good day, everyone. I'm Presi Magdoto. I'm taking a PhD in microbiology at the University of the Philippines, Los Banos. Currently on my third year in the program, my advisor is Dr. Rina B. Opolensha. Thank you, everyone. Um, hello, everyone. I am George uh, Manapat. I am an MS statistics student at UP Diliman School of Statistics, and I'm currently doing my master's thesis uh, under the supervision of my mentor, Dr. Dr. Iris Ivy Gauran. And uh, it's nice to meet you all, and uh, thank you, po. Okay, so good morning and good evening to everyone. I am Christian Mancera, a first-year graduate student from University and 
Management Engineering. So my current mentor is Dr. Natalia Di Maano. Good evening, everyone. I am Engineer Pauline Jane Mandrilia, a first-year Master of Science in Management Engineering student from the University of Santa Tomas. My mentor is Dr. Maria Natalia Di Maano. It's nice to meet every one of you. Hello everyone, I'm Shireel Mi Mariano. I am an MS Marine Science student in the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Currently on my fourth year and my mentor is Dr. Caroline Marie Harola. Mr. Mascardo. Mr. Mayol. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Andres Philip Mayol. Uh, currently a PhD candidate in uh, mechanical engineering. I'm on my third year and I'm currently working on uh, algal biorefineries. And my mentor is Dr. Alvin Colawa. Nice to meet you, everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Maria Victoria Amigo Sumano from the De La Salle University. I'm under the PhD Chemical Engineering Program. My research is about negative emissions technologies and my mentors are Dr. K. Alviso and Dr. Raymond Tan. I'm looking forward to attending the 2021 APAC. Thank you. So, Adika. This is uh, Senorino Danao Montales. I am currently here in Thailand teaching here science ed science education. I am uh, taking my first year in PhD education in your university. And my mentor is Dr. Corazon Biliwaiwai. Thank you for accepting me. Kapun Krap. Good evening, everyone. I say. I'm pursuing PhD in Computer Science in Technological Institute of the Philippines. My mentor is Dr. Melvin A. Badella. Nice meeting you all. Thank you. Hi, good evening. My name is Jay Manzana Navaluna and taking up PhD in Civil Engineering at the De La Salle University. And currently, I'm a... Uh, study leave at the University of Southern Mindanao as a faculty and also an ERDT scholar. I'm in the first year uh, under the supervision of Dr. Marla Redilius. Ms. Nian? Mr. Padilla? Ms. Paranaque. Hi, good evening. I am Julian Eris Paranaque. Currently, my first year in graduate school, taking up Master of Science in Chemical Engineering at the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. And my mentor is Dr. Monet Concepcion Detras. Thank you. Uh, good day for, to everyone. So I'm Robert James Palmina, currently uh, taking up MS in Management Engineering from the University of Santo Tomas. I'm currently in my second year, uh, being supervised by engineer Charlie Marquez. Uh, my field of study is Lean Six Sigma and uh, manufacturing systems. Uh, thank you. Mr. Ramos. Mr. Hensha. Hello, um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, uh, pleasant day to all. Good evening and uh, good morning, um, Ma'am Giselle and Dr. Santo Domingo of Paase. I am Zypher Jujire Hencha and I'm uh, currently a first year student at the, I don't know if I am the sole representative of the University of the Philippines, Manila, College of Medicine, taking a PhD in Health Sciences. My research interests include um, food science and environmental health sciences. My focus, uh, research focus today is on mental health and exposure assessment. Uh, I am also inviting you to my talk on October 8th at the 
APAMS 2021, 9.30 p.m. EDT for the REC 11 uh, parallel session. Thank you. Mr. Villa? Mr. Reyes? Ah, Ms. Villa. Um, good morning or good Go ahead, Ms. Uh, okay. Uh, wherever you are, I'm Patrick Quincy Reyes, uh, picking up MS Statistics at University of the Philippines School of Statistics. My mentor is Dr. Iris Ivy M. Gauran, and uh, my topic is about um, multiple testing in epigenetics. Thank you. Ms. Revilla? Mr. Rolionenova. Oh, go ahead, Mr. Villa. Okay, Ms. Rolionenova. Then Hi, we'll call Ms. Revilla after you. Hi, good evening. I'm Anne Elizabeth P. Rolion Enova. I'm a second year student of MS Marine Science in the University of the Philippines. My research interests are marine pollution and modeling. We'll be presenting our study next week together with my mentor, Dr. Caroline Marie B. Haraula. Thank you very much. Ms. Revilla. Uh, good day. I'm Patricia Nadine Revilla. I'm currently in my first year in the MS Chemical Engineering Program at the University of the Philippines, Los Banos, under the supervision of Dr. Monet Letras. Thank you. Mr. Runes? Ms. Ladaga? Good evening and good morning to the other side of the globe. I am Aimi Saladaga. I finished my MS in Energy Engineering at the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Currently, I am a faculty member at Eastern Visaya State University and soon I will be starting my PhD studies in Chemical Engineering at the La Salle University. My research area is renewable energy, including microbial fuel cells. My mentor is no other than the SNT Patriot Academician, Dr. Alvin B. Colaba of the La Salle University. It is a pleasure to meet you all. Thank you. Mr. Sampaco. Ms. San Juan. Hi, good morning and good evening, everyone. I'm Jane San Juan. I am a PhD candidate in De La Salle University, pursuing a doctoral degree in industrial and systems engineering under the mentorship of Dr. Charlie C. This is actually my second and final year in the program. And my research focus is in optimization modeling of supply chains and energy systems. Thank you very much. It's nice to meet you all. Mr. Soto? Mr. Tan? Hello, everyone. Uh, good evening and good morning. Uh, I'm Ronald Tan, thinking of Master of Science in Management Engineering. I'm currently first year. And my mentor is Dr. Maria Natalia Dimaano. Thank you. Mr. Tolentino. Uh, hello. 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 Um, yes. can, can everybody? Uh, hello. Uh, magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Uh, good morning to everyone. Um, my name is Angelico Nicole Tolentino. Uh, actually, I, I, I have finished already my MS Chemistry, particularly in Electrochemistry at University of Santo Tomas. Uh, my research is all about the uh, the fabrication of some indigenous textiles for supercapacitor devices, and my mentor is Dr. Christina Bina.
Miss Tolentino. Mr. Torres. Hello, good evening and good morning to everyone. Um, I am Charleston Torres, currently taking up management engineering in University of Santo Tomas under the supervision of Dr. Maria Natalia Di Mano. Nice to meet you all. Good day. Good day, everyone. I am Denzel Keith Orieta. I'm currently taking up Master of Science in Civil Engineering at De La Salle University under the supervision of Dr. Marla Maniquis Cadillas. And uh, my research interest is also on low impact development. And thank you, Pase, for this wonderful opportunity to meet other scientists. Thank you. So, good day everyone. I'm Amiel L. Valderrama. I'm currently taking Master of Science in Chemistry at the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. And I'm also a faculty member of the Institute of Chemistry at UPLB. So, my mentors are Dr. Veronica P. Migo and Dr. Sherid Ariola. And nice meeting you all. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Manny Valera here. Uh, I just finished my second year of MS Management Engineering, University of Santo Tomas, under the guidance of Dr. Natalia Di Maano. Thank you for this program. Uh, my research focus is on digitization of uh, environment sustainability. That's all. Mr. Villones. Mr. Binoy. Good evening and good day to everyone. My name is uh, Carlo Lorenzo Binoya, and I am currently taking up my PhD in mechanical engineering, and I'm in cur and currently in my second year in the De La Salle University under the tutelage of Drs. Alvin Colaba and Dr. Aristotle Ubando. My research field is related to nuclear power. Thank you. Mr. Valen. Good morning at Magandang Gabi. My name is John Whalen. I'm a third year student in the Ecological Sciences program at Old Dominion University. And Silliman University in Negros Oriental is our Filipino host university for the Philippines Fire Project, uh, which identifies population genetic changes in fishes of the Philippines. And my mentor is Kent Carpenter. Thank you. We have two more, actually. Uh, they were the, the last two ones whom we accepted. So I'll just share the photos. Uh, and uh, is uh, Miss uh, Britannia here? Hello. Uh, good day, everyone. I am Stephanie Britannia. I'm on my first year uh, taking up Master of Science in Agric Agricultural Chemistry in University of the Philippines, Los Baños. I am under the mentorship of Dr. Annabel T. Aguera. Thank you. And last but not the least, Mr. Grabato. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, uh, everyone. Uh, it's uh, really very nice to uh, be able to uh, hear your voices because this is like the Meet the Fellows uh, event and we would like to see you and hear you. So one of the uh, uh, goals of the fellowship is to give voice to you as a graduate student. So uh, from now on, please don't hesitate to uh, reach out to us, ask your questions, or answer your question, answer our questions, you know, for you. So uh, the next part of the program actually is uh, navigating APAMS. I'd like to give you some updates on APAMS, and I know you you're uh, already uh, very used to attending conferences, so we'll minimize, you know, the the hows and what of attending conferences. But I'd like to just give you some updates on who the uh, uh, fellows are, and uh, uh, what are we going to experience, you know, uh, uh, during the APAMS. So let me just uh, start 
uh, giving some uh, uh, of the features of APAM. So for, for APAM 2021, which will be starting on uh, October 8th, uh, Eastern Daylight uh, Savings Time, and that will be in the Philippines Saturday, 8 a.m. Uh, so we will be having uh, the uh, three keynote addresses, five panel discussions, two Severino and Pasco Award for Science and Engineering lectures for those who have not uh, uh, read it yet. Our award is for uh, this uh, year, our uh, Dr. Arnel A. Salvador for uh, uh, science. He's a professor of uh, physics at uh, the National Institute of Physics in UP Diliman. And the awardee for engineering is Dr. Uh, Kathleen Aviso, uh, who is a professor of engineering at uh, De La Salle University in Manila. We will also have uh, uh, distinguished uh, lectures, uh, one distinguished lecture by a Nobel laureate, uh, Dr. Uh, Shuji Nakamura. We'll have four uh, plenary talks uh, by uh, scientists who are coming all the way from the Philippines to uh, Baltimore and one uh, based here in uh, uh, Virginia. We'll have one meet the program directors, a forum a clinic, uh, our program directors from NIH and uh, NSF, um, uh, uh, Dr. Ed Salpena, and two from NIH, Dr. Uh, uh, Lea Croucher and Dr. Uh, Senya Tigno. And then we'll also have a talk uh, uh, by uh, uh, Dr. Rowena Guevara from DOSD about the Balik Scientist program. We'll also have our round table discussion on charting the future of the Philippines to be participated in by uh, some of our leading uh, scientists and social scientists, uh, Dr. Ernesto Pernia, for example, uh, Professor Emeritus at the School of Economics in UP, Dr. Uh, uh, Sherry Lynn Monterola, the new director of the uh, UP NISMED. Uh, we have Dr. Giselle, Pantaleon, uh, Giselle Concepcion, of course, Dr. Uh, uh, Al Serafica, uh, uh, Dr. Richard Abendan, uh, from the USAID stride. So uh, there will be also a 12 or 13 parallel sessions with a total of about 70 presentations. So I, we would like you to prepare for uh, attending uh, both the uh, plenary sessions and the uh, parallel sessions. Uh, three days before the uh, opening of the uh, APAMS, you will be uh, sent a link to the plenary session. So the plenary session will be a webinar style. So uh, you will be on that uh, room for uh, a while, uh, every time there's a plenary session, so probably three hours, and it will be a continuous stream with some uh, uh, gaps you know, between uh, sessions. Uh, we'll uh, all then transition you know, after uh, the plenary session in the morning in the Philippines, uh, there will be a transition to the parallel session. So we'll have to leave the webinar room and then go to your own uh, parallel uh, sessions. We'll be also posting the registration link or the Zoom link for the parallel uh, uh, sessions uh, of your choice on the program so you can prepare uh, to uh, uh, register for the parallel session or to go straight to your session after the plenary session. Uh, so uh, we would like to announce, you know, that uh, we have uh, 71 total graduate students who will be uh, attending as fellows uh, uh, at the APAMS uh, 2021. Uh, and uh, we will be uh, glad to have you every day, every night, and uh, to participate actively in the sessions. Uh, let me just uh, read to you our uh, statistics, you know, our numbers actually uh, for uh, the uh, fellowship program. From UPLB, we have 19 uh, uh, fellows. From DLSU, uh, De La Salle University, Manila, 15 fellows. From UST, 13 fellows. UP Diliman, six. University of Rizal System, three. Old Dominion University, two. University of Maryland, Baltimore County, two. UP Manila, two. Changwon National University, one. Eastern Visayas State University, one. Florida International University, one. One from Louisiana State University, one from New Era University, one from Technological Institute of the Philippines, one from the University of Canterbury, 
in uh, uh, New, New Zealand, one from uh, University of Edinburgh, and one from University of Southern Queensland for a total of about 71 graduate students. So uh, if you haven't checked it yet, the program is now available at paasia.org. And if you will be tweeting or posting on Facebook or Instagram or TikToking, please use hashtag APAMS2021. So we would uh, encourage you to help us promote APAMS2021 in your uh, social media accounts and that uh, uh, you can share the uh, posters, you can share the pictures, you can share your experience in social media so that science and technology will become more popular. Critical thinking will be more popular. You know, our analytical thinking will be popular among a, a wide swath of our population because we would like to reach them. Okay? We would like to encourage young boys and girls who to pursue uh, their interest in science and mathematics and technology and engineering without a fear that they might fail. You know, failure is part of the, the process at some point, but then we need to push through. And uh, thank you very much for being part of our uh, sphere right now, being part of our uh, uh, ecological uh, innovation ecosystem. You know, uh, we are very, very happy that you are with us. And so we would like to be uh, with you and you with us for a long, long time. Now I'd like to uh, pass the uh, the uh, chance to uh, talk uh, about the fellowship to Dr. Alvin Kulaba. I will, uh, okay, I'd beat someone. Okay, uh, yes. Alvin. Yes, thank you, uh, Mario. And of course, uh, our colleagues uh, at Paase, Good evening and good morning over there in the uh, East Coast. Hi guys, welcome to Paase. You now belong to the Paase family. I wish uh, Giselle, uh, Leia, Marge, we had this graduate student fellowship during my time. It cost me over 2,000 US dollars, uh, you know, just to be there in, back in, well, many years ago. No, in uh, the I attended, uh, you know, the app, uh, the APAMS. Now, in uh, was it in uh, Solomon's Island in in Maryland, Delia? Okay, I was very young then. I'm still young now, anyway. <laughs> anyway, so uh, finally, uh, uh, in the in recent past, uh, we did, uh, you know, have accepted, uh, you know, graduate students to APAMS, where we subsidize their uh, registration you know, to the attendance to this uh, annual, you know, uh, symposium. However, this year, as uh, President Giselle wanted to see, you know, to institutionalize this graduate student fellowship program, this is our flagship, uh, you know, program, primarily because we are now bringing in new breed, you know, of young scientists, Filipinos, of Filipino descent, okay, into the Paase, you know, organization. In the past, we have not engaged much with young scientists and engineers. This is the first time, and in fact, as Mario has already pointed out, there are more engineering uh, researchers in this uh, first batch of graduate student fellows of Paase. Leia, you know, this is a really a welcome, you know, development. You know, we, we, have, we hardly have a co-lectureship in engineering awarding in the past. We would uh, have very difficult, uh, you know, uh, time in selecting an awardee. But this year, I think this is the, the time when we can bring in more and more engineering, you know, disciplines and of course science disciplines into the uh, PAASE. Now PAASE, what is it? Uh, you know, it's really a privilege to be with us, no? Uh, you know, when I was a young researcher, I could hardly find, uh, you know, someone to, to talk to, uh, you know, to discuss my interest, to discuss my, my uh, you know, research. But this is the best opportunity for you guys to be able to uh, learn and network. It is an opportunity, not only during this time that you are going to participate in this year's APAMS, but beyond. In fact, we have already been talking about what would be a program beyond, you know, APAMS uh, this year. 
And I think uh, Mario, uh, you know, uh, and the PAASE board will come up with a program that will, uh, you know, engage you actively in PAASE activities beyond this year's APA. As, uh, you know, uh, as a start, I think uh, we can see, uh, you know, you guys uh, given, you know, first priorities in actually uh, being uh, invited to many of our PAASE sponsored events, which actually uh, uh, President Giselle Conception earlier mentioned, such as we have the REC webinars that had been mentioned by our chair, Marge, the Friday, uh, you know, webinars that we organize, it's every Friday, you know, far side chats that uh, we engage not only among scientists, but businessmen, uh, you know, uh, even uh, uh, what's this, politicians, you know, uh, it's an open, you know, discussion. And I think that is an opportunity uh, for you to engage, you know, with your knowledge and experience and, uh, you know, new ideas. And of course, uh, there will be hopefully graduate student workshops and mentoring, which may organize. And I think this is an opportunity for you to be able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, collaborate between your mentors and others, uh, uh, you know, established uh, professors or scientists uh, in the US or elsewhere. Remember, PAASE is not, you know, as memberships all over the world. So it's not only uh, members from the US. So uh, there will be opportunities for you to get invited for uh, internships in research labs or maybe uh, placements of many prominent uh, uh, Filipino uh, scientists you know, in the US or of uh, Filipino descent. They are in the top universities uh, in the US and elsewhere. And of course, uh, there will be PhD scholarships and graduate fellowships. Uh, you know, which are offered by our own PAASE fellows, I mean, uh, PAASE members who have uh, already, uh, yeah, you know, opportunities to bring in, uh, you know, Filipino researchers into their labs or into their, into their research group. Postdoc opportunities, maybe early career research grants. I think these are some of the programs that we may uh, organize uh, for you to be able to access. And of course, uh, it will broaden your network and be mentored by science and technology related careers and s and leadership in the academe, government and industry. Many of our members in PAASE has, you know, are not only scientists, you know, are not only found in labs, but they are also in the forefront, you know, of the promotion and of course uh, pushing, you know, the frontiers of science and technology not only in our uh, labs, but also in the government, in, uh, you know, in our uh, political, uh, you know, to influence decisions uh, related to s and policies, mainly, you know, here in the Philippines. And of course, maybe in the, in the future, we will have opportunities to run graduate student-led meetings and conferences among our graduate student fellows. And in the near future, you will be welcome you know, to the full or associate or full membership of PAASE. I think you are the future, you know, members of PAASE. And hopefully with your experience with us, you can share, you know, whatever knowledge and experience you gain from your fellowship to others, uh, you know, uh, your colleagues, which may not have the same opportunity to be part of this program. This is by invitation. This is actually, you are actually uh, you know, uh, recommended or nominated by your mentors because they believe in you that you will be uh, the future of uh, science and, uh, you know, I mean, the scientists uh, of the future no, in the Philippines. So we would encourage you to actively involve, especially in the APAMS 2021. Um, there are many opportunities for you to engage with you know, the members of PAASE. So again, we welcome you to PAASE and we hope to see you more in many of our activities of PAASE. Good morning and good evening to everyone. Mario. Thank you very much, Dr. Alvin Kulaba. Uh, before we uh, continue, let me just read uh, a couple of uh, uh, messages from uh, two fellows who were not able to introduce uh, themselves. One is Mr. Maurelio Cabo, 
who is uh, right now uh, uh, studying in South Korea. H hello, everyone. I'm still in the lab finalizing my report for tomorrow, the life of a graduate student. I have no available microphone on my computer, so I cannot speak on my part. My deepest apologies. I'm Aurelio Cabo Jr., currently pursuing Master's of Science in Smart Manufacturing Engineering here in Changwon National University, South Korea, under Professor Jung Il-sung. My research focus focuses on developing bio-based polymeric material from vegetable oil for green composites. Good evening, everyone. And from Mr. Lowell uh, Iporak from Florida International University. Hi, all. I will have to teach in five minutes, so I will have to leave shortly. My apologies. I am a sixth-year PhD candidate in marine biology slash ecology at Florida International University in Miami, Florida. I study seaweed invertebrate interactions in the Caribbean with a focus on pelagic sargassum influxes, blooms, of which I also run a citizen science program. I have the honor of being mentored by Dr. Ligia Colliado Vides. Bienvenidos. So thank you, uh, Mauricio, and thank you, and, uh, Andrew uh, uh, Iporak, for these messages. So uh, we would like to continue by uh, asking you if you have any questions for us, you know, uh, any of the fellows here. And after, you know, this Q&A between uh, 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 you and us, we would like to ask some of our, our mentors and advices, uh, advisors here in this forum, policy members or otherwise, to uh, uh, give a short message uh, for our uh, fellows. So you, do you have any questions for us? Anyone, you can raise your hand. Anyone, feel free. Can we briefly show the faces of everybody so I can take a picture? Oh yeah, you can go to the gallery view. Uh, you can take a photo and then uh, please show your video. Uh, Richmond, maybe you can also take a photo. Okay, ready? As we are taking a, a, a photo, please uh, think of your question for us. <laughs> okay, I'm on page one. Going to page two. Smile. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got it. Okay, anyone who has a question, please don't hesitate to ask questions. Okay, uh, yes, uh, uh, Jem, uh, Baldissima, please unmute, yes. Yes, hi, good, good morning again, everyone, and good evening. So I guess one of my questions was how long is the whole fellowship? So we entered into the program just, you know, just now. So my, I was curious whether it was a year, is it forever, is it two years, is it one semester? Um, so that we also know what we're getting into and what, you know, you also expect from us as the fellows. Yes, so uh, let me answer it first, but you can uh, pitch in uh, uh, President Giselle and uh, uh, Dr. Alvin, you know, so this program is a baby, you know, it's a baby. It, it was just born and it so happened that you are the first cohort of this baby program. So initially, our idea was this was uh, this is just an APAMS fellowship. So you will just uh, attend the pre-APAMS and uh, the, the APAMS uh, 2021, and that's it. You're done with your fellowship. But you know, it's evolving. And we have been uh, discussing about it, that there could be post-APAMS, you know, opportunities, and this could run until the next APAMS actually. So, but then we will definitely give you updates about where this is going, but definitely, you're part of APAMS 2021, and then uh, possibly, you know, some post APAMS, which we are very uh, strongly thinking about. And so, uh, so uh, that's basically our framework right now. It may not be the complete uh, answer to your question, but that's where we are going. Thank you for your question, Jem. Uh, Press Giselle or, uh, or Alvin, do you have uh, additions? So, um... Everyone, right now, we have two types of memberships in Basel. We have the full membership and we have the associate membership. When we had in a conference in 2018, October, I had my research group working with me closely. And uh, some of my RAs, my researchers worked so hard and they loved uh, the program uh, in uh, Basel and listening to our top um, 
researchers uh, giving talks. This was in UP Diliman. And they asked whether they would become PASA fellows. So we have broached the idea to our fellow board members and we're considering very closely. So, uh, so far there's no affiliation, official affiliation of fellows yet within the PASA. But with what's happened, um, you know, last year and this year, and uh, now that we are organized into research expertise clusters, we really think that uh, there would be a sense to have fellows in every rec, okay? And uh, the fellows could be mentored by our full and associate members. So this is very consider serious consideration now among us in the board represented here by BP Mario, Chair Marge, and uh, board member Alvin, myself. And so I would like to um, push this idea. I'm sure with the support of uh, the rest of us here. So that's it. And we will let you know. So if you were to then um, think of um, PASA fellows, the natural uh, first uh, batch would be you. You would be considered our first batch, right? Okay, and then, you know, you would um, be allowed to join our uh, meetings, the rec meetings, and then our uh, webinars and fireside chats. But then you would also help us run the recs because many of our members are faculty members, uh, full-time researchers, and some of them are administrative um, officials. So we really need some kind of a young dynamic group to help us run our events. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Press Giselle. Uh, Alvin, do you have uh, yes. any additional thoughts? Yes, actually, while actually uh, we are we're offering, uh, you know, the fellowship uh, for attendance and participation in our uh, APANS, you know, this year, uh, we have already initially uh, thought of organizing activities for you guys to ensure that you actually sustain your interest and engagement with, uh, you know, Paase. Primarily because within Paase, we are actually involved in many SNP, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's this, uh, activities no? uh, within, uh, you know, the Philippines and of course, uh, and we would like to involve younger and younger, uh, you know, uh, researchers or scientists. I think it's about time uh, that uh, we uh, provide opportunities for our young, uh, you know, researchers around the country because this is really our purpose here. We want to see more and more scientists uh, who are engaged with us all around, you know, the Philippines. So. We cannot do that among ourselves alone in Paase with 400, that's all over 400, uh, you know, scientists and very senior scientists. We need younger, uh, you know, scientists to help us promote across the country. So if you are located in Mindanao, uh, you know, in, in Visayas, uh, you know, in Southern uh, Luzon or Northern part of, you know, you will be our champions. You will be our champions in promoting science and technology. You will be our models. That is why we will have to have a program to start you know, uh, nurturing you to be involved. So maybe you will become our fellows alumni. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, we will talk about it uh, in the board. But certainly, uh, we have already something in mind after uh, APAMS 2021. So we'll, we'll let you know. Thank you. Thank you, Alvin. Uh, do we have other questions from the fellows? Any other questions? You can raise your hand. Your hands. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so we've been talking about, uh, uh, you know, being uh, uh, successful scientists in the future. Uh, one of the uh, consistent uh, findings in research about scientists is, is that the most successful scientists not only have the human capital, not only have the skills and knowledge, but have a high 
a sense of community among scientists and a high level of science identity. You know, that those are the two uh, things that we would like to uh, enhance, you know, through this fellowship program, your sense of community among uh, 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 your fellow scientists, uh, among yourselves, among us, among all of us together, and a high sense of identity as a scientist who is committed to uh, uh, his or her craft, who are uh, committed to his community, you know, uh, or her community as the final beneficiary of the science that we are uh, 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 holding the era that we are practicing. So uh, uh, now I would like to call on our advisors, our mentors here in this uh, uh, panel, uh, if you have like additional words uh, of wisdom for our uh, fellows. Anyone? Uh, before we end, we'll, 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 we'll end with those uh, messages. Uh, uh, maybe uh, Alea, would, do you have any uh, uh, thing to add, uh, Dr. Croucher? Um, I'm just really uh, very excited to see all these young people um, be here and be part of um, Paaste. And I would really want to see them evolve from being fellows to full members in the future. Uh, indeed, now that we are approaching almost 500 members, it is almost impossible to, um, to follow each and everyone's uh, trajectory, I guess, in terms of science and technology. And we will need this young people to energize uh, the organization. Um, and obviously we will need them to volunteer as well, <laughs> like we did when we were younger. Um, and uh, I would suggest that they also recruit their friends who are in the sciences uh, to participate and to and to uh, learn about PASA and maybe become members in the future. This is actually very, very encouraging. Thank you so much, uh, Leia. Actually, among the fellows here, we have already a number of uh, volunteers. Uh, some of them are presenting during APAMS. I can see some names. Some of them are behind uh, uh, the scene, like helping us out with book of abstracts like uh, Sharin Antonio, uh, with posters like uh, Engineer Cartel. So uh, we are open to your help, of course. You can ask us, what can I do to help in as much as we are willing to help you. So uh, I can see uh, from among us, uh, Dr. Marla Ridilias. Uh, she's a mentor from De La Salle University, Manila, and uh, a member of uh, PAASE. Uh, Dr. Marla, uh, would you like to uh, say something? Good evening and good morning, everyone. I am so excited to see all of you here. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. And uh, this is your opportunity. That's what I can say. Paase has given you the opportunity. So try to do your best and enjoy and have fun. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, we can work together, all of the mentors, your mentors. And I hope that you enjoy every opportunity and take all of the opportunity, um, you know, meet new friends, you know, try to do the networking. Yeah, that's really important. And above all, of course, finish your research and stay with Paase until, you know, forever. <laughs> that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Marla. You can see that Dr. Marla Redillas is really one of the most highly committed mentors among us because she, uh, she uh, nominated several, maybe all of her uh, uh, men mentees. And she's with us now. You know, it's not required for mentors to be here, but you know, taking the time to be with you means a lot. Thank you very much, Dr. Marla. I can see also uh, Dr. Eileen Almario with us. Uh, Dr. Almario, would you like to say something? Um, okay, who else is with us? Uh, do we have other mentors among, among us here? 
earlier we had Vicky Miko, but she's gone. Yeah, probably they have uh, classes. Oh, uh, no, it's 10 uh, of, p.m. It's 9.45. Uh, I know, it's almost like at 10. So I yeah. guess uh, we have actually uh, uh, covered a lot. And uh, if there are no more uh, mentors here, advisors, uh, uh, who would like to uh, uh, give us their message. Maybe I can ask uh, Dr. Uh, Giselle Concepcion to close the program for us. Yeah. And uh, so that this will uh, be a very memorable, you know, yes. event for, for everyone. So Mario, Giselle. I uh, actually, um, well, uh, get my energy from young people. Mm -hmm. So seeing them, I'm inspired. That's always been the case for me in my lab. And so seeing all of you, uh, during COVID, this has allowed us actually to be, uh, we might say, more uh, intimate um, uh, friends. In Pase, we've become um, scientific, professional, and personal friends. So when we have our Pase board meetings, we're just, you know, so um, uninhibited and uh, dynamic. And uh, we laugh a lot, too. But at the same time, we're very constructive. So um, my last message to everyone is I have a new tagline and it is to be an SNT Philippine Patriot. So we want to foster SNT patriotism in our country. And it's not nationalism. When you say you're a patriot, you play games or you work on the ground like Alvin Pulaba does in uh, Tacloban. Okay, it's not a case of just thinking, writing, speaking. No, it's not analysis paralysis. It's you think of something that's really good, that's s and driven, and you go out and do it in your province, in your lab, et cetera. So that's, that's very important to me, I think. And um, it's so good to start out young and make this your way of life science as your way of life and we're here to guide you okay all right so thank you so much everyone for coming and we look forward to how i wish i could listen to every talk of our fellows okay those who are giving talks thank you so much for those who helped with 41st apams it's just looking to be so exceptional uh, Co-chairs uh, Leah and Mario, thank you so much. Good night. Thank you so much, uh, President Giselle. And with that, we are closing this program. Thank you so much to everyone. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, we have an open door policy. I believe that's what <laughs> basically we have. So email us, reach out to us, text us. If we are not busy, we will be responding immediately. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll yeah. be there. We'll be there for you. So thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Leah. Oh, no, thank, thank, you, thank you, March. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Alvin. Thank you, everyone you. Uh, from Paas, uh, colleagues, everyone. Thank you. And magandang uh, uh, gabi po sa inyong lahat. Bye -bye. Good day. Good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you, everyone. You're Welcome. open. Yeah. You're inclusive. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mario. Thank, Thank you, you yeah. everyone. Stay yeah. safe and healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Richmond. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. Marla. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. March the photos, <laughs> please. Uh, yeah, I'll post. Uh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Mario. Uh, yeah, I have to go to another meeting. So if we need to I have another to meeting to go to and then I'll see the other posters. Okay, okay. Yeah, just let me know. Okay. <laughs>